is taylor welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you can see by the title we just did a little get ready with me on this look little natural everyday look i'm about to go run some errands because <sighs> if i don't run them who's going to you know who's gonna run the errands who's gonna pick up prescriptions who's gonna get groceries who's gonna do it you know what i'm saying who's gonna do it so I didn't want this get ready with me to be as you know serious as the other one. So we were just talking about some shows that I need y'all to put me on and just like just different little things. Um, I will just say, just make sure you're loving on your loved ones, especially during this time. Make sure you are being as kind and as nice as possible because you never know what anybody's going through. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see how I got this look and just hang out with me, then just continue to watch. So we're about to get ready together. I have some errands that I need to run, so I'm like, I might as well film with you guys. I need to finish up another video for you guys. So I was like, let's just hang out, you know? And uh, there's some techniques that I've seen that I want to try out with you guys. And so yeah, let's get started. I'm literally about to like jump in right now. I ain't about to get cute for y'all. Y'all know what time it is. This is our Anastasia Brow Freeze. You know, I love this stuff. You guys know. I was just watching um, Jackie Ina talk about how she uses it she uses like a fresh spoolie but this one i just washed it so this was my uh, like the little spatula thing y'all i broke it went hulk on it broke it but <laughs> fine i can still wash this and then just use this you can use a reusable one or you can use a disposable one whichever one works better the product does like sit on the brush so that's the only like down part about it it'll get hard on you so whatever works for you but she said that she like pushes it up and then she lets it sit she lets it sit i don't remember if she presses it down yet i'm gonna leave it i feel like she says she just pushes it up and then she like shapes it how she wants and then she doesn't touch it i'm pretty sure Look for me. Let me double check. Okay, so she just pushed hers all the way up and then kind of like dragged them down like into the shape that she wanted. I just got mine recently trimmed. So they're not too like too crazy. So I'm just gonna leave them like that. And then she said she just lets it sit before she puts any product in it. Um I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go in with concealer though under the brow, of course. We have to do the concealer under the brow. For foundation, we're going to go in with our Fenty Skin. No, this is not Fenty Skin. So for foundation, we are gonna go in with our Fenty Beauty in the shade 425. I'm just gonna go in and apply this, y'all. Monet got me buying uh, this Refi brush. I think that's how you pronounce it, Refi, Refi. I don't know, we're gonna see. We're gonna try, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see what it's hitting on. I trust her, I trust her. So let me just trust her. So I like the brush. I think it does like loosen up. Well, not loosen up. It, so it's just gonna lighten up the coverage of the foundation that you're using. So if you don't want a full coverage, then I think this brush would really be beneficial for you. Like if you want more of a natural coverage, um, like if you, because this is not a, this Fenty foundation is not light coverage at all. So the fact that it's giving me more of like a lighter natural coverage you can probably use any foundation um, and it'll give you that same effect regardless of the, like the natural coverage that it gives you because I know this foundation is more of a medium medium coverage foundation I wouldn't consider it to be light typically but this brush is definitely giving it more of a lighter um, I guess finish I'm gonna go with my beauty blender just because I have a little more foundation and it'll just give me more of a seamless finish. So 
So I put, can y'all see my lips? It's a, um, what is it? A lip oil. It's a lip oil by House Labs and it's in the shade Secondary. Um, and I have it on my lips and it's giving me like a little, it's giving me a tint. It's supposed to be orange, like in the pictures it says it's orange, but I don't, I wouldn't consider it orange. It's definitely giving me more like a raspberry, like a pinkier color, but I'm not mad at it. I really like, it makes my lips feel really nice and I like that it gives me that color. That's cute. So what have y'all been doing? Keep me informed. What is going on? You guys, what have you guys been watching? Tell me, comment down below. A lot of the shows that I frequent are like gone off and I'm like waiting for them to come back or I've been really like into like older shows. Like I've been watching Private Practice. You guys, I wanted to put blush on before my concealer. So I really don't know why I just did that. Um, but it's fine. I guess we'll just go with it. But yeah, I've been watching like Private Practice and um, Last Chance You, like the basketball. I need to finish watching that. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I typically pay like for the Netflix bill. <laughs> But I'm like, I ain't got no money for Netflix this month. Like, I gotta get my nails done. Like, what? <laughs> so, uh, sometimes you gotta say no to Netflix so you can say yes to get your nails done. And it's not, like, just me, right? I have to pay for, like, the big one because it's all of my siblings. And they don't want to pay for it either. So, I'm like, well, I guess the Netflix is on hold until somebody got $20. Because <laughs> I'm like, no, no. But I really want to finish watching Last Chance You Basketball, but... Somebody gotta put a Netflix bill. <laughs> but yeah, I've been uh, hearing good things about the show Wednesday. I really want to, I'm gonna watch that too. And then I also am waiting for Married at First Sight to come back on. Do you guys watch that show? <laughs> Comment down below if you watch that show because me and my little sister are absolutely obsessed. And the last season they were in um, San Francisco, I believe. And the couples did not, a lot of the couples did not stay together. <laughs> I was sad about it, like, but I could understand it. Like stuff like that, I don't know how, like Love is Blind, like I don't know how people do that stuff. Would you guys go on a show like that? I could never, I could never. I mean, I'm not even like an anxious person. I very much so believe in everything happens for a reason. And I just feel like the people who go on shows like that were meant to find their spouse in that way. Like. If that's something that you do, then girl, you better go on that show and you better do what you gotta do. Because Lauren and Cameron on Love is Blind, oh my gosh, love that. And you know, the past couples on Married at First Sight, essentially they like give the same vibe, except Married at First Sight, you literally are walking down the aisle to the person that you are going to marry and you do not like, you do not know what they look like, you do not know them at all. And you're going to marry them like, <laughs> you're to marry them. That one's a little more dramatic then um, love is blind because at least you can like say no before like the whole wedding which I feel like they should I don't know I just feel like that's a little embarrassing but I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know what people sign up for because I feel like if I knew that I wasn't gonna marry this person I feel like I would just tell them before the actual wedding like why would I wait and do all that like waste the, the people's money but that, maybe that's what they want. I don't know. Mm -mm. And that's why I couldn't do it because let's say I do meet somebody and they're like everything and then they go say no. Like you could have told me this before. You knew before you saw me it was a no. Be out here lying. And you just not gonna embarrass me like that. I just couldn't imagine. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Sidebar, another trick I've been seeing is how to set the under eye. So I went ahead and put our concealer down and then they say to use the one, like a face powder. You do a face powder, then you set, and then you bake, I believe. Bake, what is it? You guys, see, I need to do more research. Hold on, it said blend, set, bake, okay? So we're gonna, we blended our concealer, we're gonna put some powder on, and then we're gonna bake.
What do y'all think? What does it look like? Tell the truth. Oh! <laughs> I look like I have glitter under my eyes. Did y'all do that? Did y'all, what does that mean? But yeah, y'all, I could not do anything like that, so. <laughs> but the new season of Married at First Sight is coming out um, in January. I think like January 4th or something. I don't typically watch it until it like gets really good. Like, like you gotta wait till like episode like five. Cause the beginning is just like, you trying to like get to know the people and you know, it's not giving what it's supposed to give in terms of like, like getting to know the characters. I like the character build. I like to see who the people are. Like if they're gonna like, if they're meshing well, I can, I, sometimes you could just tell. Sometimes they just act real stupid and I could tell like the, the experts put together the right people and it's just the people let like, their ego and their fear get in the way and then they just like mess it up. I can tell sometimes when that happens, like when the people don't end up being together. But sometimes I'll be like, uh-uh, the experts did not do y'all right. They did not do y'all right. But I love, I cannot wait until that show comes back. So if you watch that show, comment down below who were your favorite couples from last week. What's your favorite season in the past? Let me know. And if not, like I said, just show me, like, put me on to some shows, like, and they could be old shows, like, y'all have never, I don't even want to, like, put my business out there, but I haven't finished Ozark. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. And it's not that I don't want to, it's just, I just haven't gotten around to it. I haven't finished Handmaid's Tale. I haven't, I've never watched Power all the way through. I think I've seen like the first two seasons. I don't know. It just was giving me drama. Angela and Ghost were giving me drama. And I was just like, oh my goodness, like this is just too much. At that time, the Shea Room will post all the spoilers and stuff like when it was like on. So I'm like, I already know like the big stuff, but I'm gonna still watch it one day. Just one day, I don't know when, I don't know when. I'll let y'all know though. Like eventually I'll end up watching it, I know, because you know, it's a cultural classic and I just feel like it deserves to be watched. I just, when it was out, it was just too much. You know what I'm saying? It was just too much, but I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around to it. And I know, I, I haven't even watched those shows, but it's fine. I'm just building up my arsenal, figuring out what's working, what's not. <laughs> and I'll tell you like, no shame no tea, when you wait for the show to go off, it's honestly better to me because when I watched Game of Thrones all the way through, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. I could not have waited for the next season. Like I would have, <sighs> no, I couldn't have done that. Like that was just too powerful. That was too powerful. RIP my sis, that's all I'm gonna say. Monet had me buying stuff. Um, the soft pop blush stick. Y'all, this is a lot for me. <laughs> soft pop blush stick. Makeup by Mario. This is in the shade Plumberry. It's like a purpley color. Oh! I didn't know the brush down here. Wow. Okay, the brush. That's cute. With this white. He got this white. I'm telling you, he don't care about us. He said, get dirty. Ugh. Okay. Cute. I didn't even put y'all onto the highlighter. This is a Refi Gloss Highlighter in the shade Topaz. Chi Chi put me onto this. I know you guys probably can't see because of the color. It's in like a new packaging. So you put it on the back of your hand. First of all, look at that. Yeah. I put a little bit on here. Do you see that? <laughs> I cannot even, I cannot even. Do you see chestnuts roasting on an open fire? Hey. <laughs> Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Ooh, ooh, at your nose. <laughs> I'm geeking because that's too cute. I really want to put on my eyelid, but I don't know. Let's just freaking do it, bruh. We just got a little wild. We did. We did. It's okay though. 
that highlight hmm y'all need that highlight y'all need that highlight you don't need a lot at all all right i'm gonna put on some diy at home lashes my girl beauty by chi chi i already told y'all i right, already know what time it is let me clean out my little area my face we're not done with the makeup i just want to you know get get the lashes going so we're gonna put these on and then we'll come back and finish the rest of the face i'm gonna show you guys how fast this is gonna take i'm gonna play a song matter of fact it's 114 i'm gonna show you guys like and i'm not even a pro at this let me let's keep let's be very clear about that i am not a pro but i'm gonna show you guys we bronzed we put a little bronzer on our lid we finished the eyebrow i mean <laughs> we finished the lashes it's 127 and we did all that and included the lashes so that's not that long it took me four minutes to do one eye so you can probably do it quicker than me because i don't know what i'm doing all the way yet <laughs> um question where are the tell me what y'all think about this i'm gonna fill in my brows while she try to figure out her situation because she interrupted our time to get please help I sat locked in like that. Period. She's crazy. Not any crazier than you. Let me let me just fill you guys in on what has been happening, right? I'm over here thinking I'm filming a reel. Period. Filming a reel. Y'all, I haven't even like I did not for like the past three or four clips. I did not flip the camera. Like I've been trying to use the back of my phone. I didn't flip the camera so I'm literally recording like the back like it's on the front camera I didn't flip it to the back camera so it's literally like recording my little stand <laughs> I'ma let it go I'ma let that go but we're gonna continue on me and you me and you boo so we filled in our brow this is the benefit precisely my brow this is honestly like I forgot about her because she's expensive benefit oh my goodness you guys but this like if you can catch this on sale this is the best brow pencil like it's so sharp it mm, it's creamy like it gives a perfect amount of pigmentation I have it in this shade four I know it comes in like six it's like over six shades because some of the shades go to like three 3.5 3.75 you know like different things like that so this is the brow pencil that's the brow pencil but anyway i don't know what we've done together i did bronzer i don't know if i showed you guys the juvia's place bronzer in the shade dark it's a bronzing palette i also put it in my what is this my crease area i know we put a little bit of that highlighter on it but it wasn't really giving like anything crazy so i just went ahead and put a little color in my crease i'm hungry y'all I'm gonna go make me some hot stuff really sticks. <laughs> For the inner corner, you guys, I've actually been putting like, instead of shimmer, sometimes I'll take like a powder, like a setting powder, or like this is like lighter than my skin tone. And I've been setting it with a matte highlight. And I saw this TikTok of this girl doing the same thing. So I feel like as a community, we're like with it, you know? We've always loved the inner corner highlight, but it's like maybe we don't want it shimmery. You know, we don't want it shining and blowing people back. But I feel like a matte is like a nice balance, you know? And it just wakes you up in there. Like, you see? That's cute. This is a Juvia's Place, you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on using the Juvia's Place blush palette. Try to say that freaking fast just once okay um volume one it has like this plummy color at the top and so i'm just gonna pack that on top of the blush that we already have down you guys the pigmentation is crazy you see that yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna i'm not mad at blush so i don't you know that doesn't scare me because i know that it's gonna be the first thing to go anyway so just go on with your blender and pat on top we lost a little bit of highlight, but you can see like the sheen, you know? I'm okay with that. Just a little, it's like a little cute, little light, little. Oh, she's gonna go run errands. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our lip combo. Sinky. Hey, handsome. 
You love me? Hmm? I love you. I just love you. We're gonna go in with our lip combo. Beauty by Chi Chi Allure lip liner. I think this is the Allure one. It's like a chocolate brown. She has like a chocolate brown and then she has like a real deep brown. Like, this is like the second to darkest shade that she has. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Regardless of whatever you celebrate, I just hope that you're loving on the people that are near and close to you and that treat you right. And that you are, you know, giving in preference to receiving. Because just know, if you are a giver, you're just naturally going to be a receiver. Because it's just like, it has to follow. If you're like giving out, God is just going to pour back into you anything that you have lost. Okay? So just stay hopeful. Stay faithful. Just keep going, okay? No matter what the... No matter what the enemy is trying to tell you in your mind, we need you here. We love you. Everybody is going through something. So just make sure you guys are being kind to people because... <sighs> Did y'all hear about that? Did y'all hear about Ellen's DJ? I don't even want to talk about it because it makes me sad. And I just feel so... <sighs> like the fact that his family, like especially around this time of the year, it's just really... Just love on people. Be kind to people. Make sure you're giving people. Like even if it's just a phone call, even just a text, like... It's crazy out here. This is the Rihanna Fenty Glow Heated Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow Heat. I'm not sure, I guess that's the name, but I'm just gonna put that on top. My battery's dying, so let me change you guys out. And we'll finish up. I'ma just say this. When a girl gives, the girl gives. <laughs> Let's hair out. You guys, I filmed a, you guys should have already seen it by now. I filmed a silk press tutorial because um, I think the last time I showed you guys my hair, the last time I showed you guys my hair, my vlog, I showed you guys me doing my hair, but I didn't show like the whole process and somebody asked me about the process. So, so I went ahead and filmed my silk press tutorial i filmed it on friday i believe oh it's getting all on my lip gloss Arr. i filmed it on friday i realized i didn't film my outro so that's what i'm about to do after this um but now it's not as fresh but you know she's still pressed look stiff well stiff well <laughs> so this is like day what is Monday? Like day three, day four to here. I need to plug the flat iron in to like get these little. To get that right there. Oh, see this? Don't be doing them ponytails, y'all. Like your hair will. The thing about the ponytail, and I'm not gonna talk about the ponytail all, all my life, okay? Because I realize like anytime I mention my hair, I mention the ponytail. <laughs> and that's not what I mean to do. It's just like. I know for a lot of us, the ponytail is just so easy and so safe. And it's just like, that's fine. But it's like, at what cost is? At the cost of the rest of your hair? Like, look at what the ponytail did. So y'all, y'all be mindful of the ponytail now. Like, it's all fun and games till the breakage comes. It's growing back, but it's, it's, not, worth it. it's not worth it. So like I said, because it's like day three day here, you know, you be sweating. I need to like hit the edges. I'm trying to get it before it gets too hot so I can kind of get kind of close. And when I have to like bump my ends or like hit the edges and stuff like that, I don't put it as high as I do when I first initially straighten it. Just cause this hair has already been like touched by the heat. And I also don't like really touch the flat iron anymore. Unless it's like do or die. <laughs> Unless it's like mandatory, like this, like girl, it's given different continents. <laughs> and that is it for this get ready with me, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to, you know, just hang out with you guys as I got ready to go ahead and run some errands. I honestly wanted to do this because my last few get ready with me's are like more of like a serious topic and 
while that's like important and just things I wanted to talk about in general, like I just wanted to kiki with you guys and see what you guys have been up to and catch up on some new products and some new techniques that I learned. I will say the little under eye, the setting with the face powder, I would suggest a lighter face powder to match your concealer. So set with a face powder and then going with your setting powder and then like, what was it? Set, what was it? What was it you guys? I just learned it. So the blending out the concealer, the setting with the face powder, and then the baking with the setting, or the baking powder, it get all complicated. The baking setting powder, whatever you wanna do. Face powder, setting powder, and it's gonna give you a nice like airbrushed look. So I like the way that it looks under the eye. Um, give it a try and then let me know how you guys like it. Um, the Precisely My Brow, I this is an oldie but a goodie, but it is like newer in my arsenal, but I highly recommend this one. And then the blush, I'm gonna try the blush out some more. I'll probably do like a little TikTok on it just to get like a real true, true feeling about it because like I said, I did it completely out of order. I wanted to do the blush first, then the under eye concealer and everything like that, but it still is a pretty color and I put the um, Juvia's Place on top, so it works out for us. And then of course our five products, we went ahead and tried the infamous Monet brush. Like y'all know, if you guys are on TikTok, you know Monet be like swirling, swirling, swirling. I do love the swirl. I will say it thinned out the coverage of the foundation, but it doesn't look bad. So if you wanted something like that, if you wanted like an everyday look to your foundation, I really do think that this brush would be good for you. So this end is like, I think it's for cream contour and blush. So if you have those products, you could totally use it for that. Like I, I could use it for my, um, my blush and my contour today, but I'll try it again next time. The only thing, I don't really like the dual ended brushes because when I go to like, you know, like store it, this is gonna be touching and this is gonna be out. But I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I don't know, I feel like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But I would still use this brush and I like the brush, so it is what it is. <laughs> and then of course the highlighter, you guys. You need to go get it. The gloss highlighter in the shade Topaz is gonna give you that like, just glossy look it's a gloss highlighter like it's it's giving that it's giving that vibe so yes those are the newer products that we use but yeah the lip i'm pretty sure you guys know like i've been obsessed with the fenty heat lip gloss in the shade what should i do fenty glow heat 03 like i've been obsessed with this any brown any brown in this is what is what i'm on right now this is the beauty by chi chi lip liner of course you guys be sure to use my coat taylor 10 for money off as well as our diy lashes um, you guys almost let me forget to tell you about this lip oil they come in different shades i love it i love it i love it that's it that's it that's a lot to say and without further ado that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you have any ideas of any other videos that you would like to see from me or you have you know any questions about any of the products or if there's some products that's out there that you think i will really like make sure you guys leave them down below so if you guys would like to see more of me make sure you guys are following my other social media accounts i am a little i post on like those a little more often than i do on youtube but like i said i'm gonna get more consistent it's still gonna be me and you at least once a week okay that is that is something that we can do at least once a week like we can't talk once a week like that's crazy like that's crazy but with that being said that is the end of this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Bye guys. We love you. Let me be the